It's no secret that finding real friends these days feels nearly impossible, especially with everyone hiding behind screens and chatting through emojis rather than actually talking face to face. Remember the days when friendships were built on hanging out and experiencing life together? Well, those days seem to be fading fast, and nobody is feeling that more than Sigma males. Sigma males are often labeled as weird or standoffish. But the truth is, they're just fed up with the superficiality of it all. They're the ones still holding out for those old-school, genuine connections that seem to be going extinct. So yeah, they might not have a ton of friends, but it's not because they can't socialize. It's because they refuse to settle for the shallow digital excuses for friendship that the world is becoming all too comfortable with. They prefer to establish authentic connections with people, and they have very high standards for who they spend their time with. So among all of this, why is it that Sigma males have few or no friends? Well, here are eight reasons. Number one, they are mysterious and frightening. Sigma males often find themselves with few friends, and a big part of that is because they are perceived as mysterious, so much so that it can be intimidating to others. It's not like they're trying to scare people away. It's just that, as Jonathan Kent once said to young Clark Kent in Man of Steel, People are afraid of what they don't understand. <laughs> this rings true for Sigma males. Their tendency to keep to themselves, think deeply, and approach life differently can be puzzling to many, causing them to be misunderstood and, as a result, inadvertently push people away. Sigmas tend to have a very intense approach to life. This approach, however, allows them to be highly successful in their endeavors, empowering them with the discipline and motivation needed to do great things. Number 2. The rarity and misunderstanding of Sigma males make it challenging for others to see things from their perspective. Sigmas operate on a different level of existence, which often leaves others struggling to keep up. These men are profound thinkers with an unparalleled understanding of the world. Their unique perception of life, which diverges significantly from the average person, hampers others' ability to truly connect and build a meaningful relationship with them. This disconnect is not due to any arrogance or aloofness on the part of the Sigma, but rather a byproduct of their unique and deep-seated understanding of the world and its intricacies. Dale Carnegie once said, You can make more friends in two months by becoming interested in other people than you can in two years by trying to get other people interested in you. Sigma males understand this concept well. They know how to make friends by showing interest in others. However, they often find that there are not many people they find interesting enough to make the effort. Number 3. They don't need to prove their worth to anyone. In a world obsessed with external validation, Sigma males wander as outliers, unbothered by the need for others' praise or recognition. Their worth is a silent dialogue between them and their conscience, a solace that often translates to a sparse social circle. This is a stark contrast to the behavior of many, especially alpha males, who parade their achievements as if collecting accolades is synonymous with collecting friends. Sigma males find this behavior not only fruitless but also fundamentally flawed, knowing that genuine friendships are built on empathy and respect, not grandiose displays of self-importance. This realization, though it isolates them, is a testament to their profound understanding of the essence of human connection a perspective lost on many in a world dominated by superficial interactions. Number 4. They can sense inauthentic friendships. A simple yet profound way to gauge the authenticity of one's friendships is by heeding the old adage, if you want to know who your friends are, stop calling them. This saying highlights the prevalence of one-sided friendships, where one person's interest and care are not genuinely reciprocated but rather feigned out of a sense of obligation or superficial niceness. Sigma males possess a keen ability to discern the genuine intentions of people, enabling them to easily see through fake and insincere gestures. A common misconception that many individuals harbor is the overestimation of the number of true friends they have. As disheartening as it may be, the reality is often far from this illusion. Number 5. Respect, Trust, 
and loyalty are hard to gain and easy to lose. Building relationships founded on respect, trust, and loyalty is a delicate process that often takes years to cultivate. Unfortunately, it only takes a momentary lapse in judgment to shatter those bonds completely. This fragile nature of human connections is a significant reason why Sigma males often have a limited circle of friends. They hold themselves and others to high standards when it comes to these critical traits, and sadly, not many people possess the capacity to consistently demonstrate them. The Sigma male's discerning approach to relationships means that they often find themselves surrounded by fewer people, but those who do make the cut are truly worthy of their trust and friendship. So while Sigma males don't have many friends, the ones they do have are highly cherished. Number six, more friends lead to more drama. It is an unfortunate reality that having a large circle of friends often brings with it a host of drama and problems. It's ingrained in human nature for people to possess a competitive nature, continuously comparing themselves to their peers and striving to outdo one another at every opportunity. This competitive streak doesn't exempt friendships. In fact, it often magnifies within them. Resentment, jealousy, and incessant comparison are common ailments that plague large friend groups. Sigma males, recognizing this, prefer to keep their circles small and tight-knit. This strategic approach helps them avoid the unnecessary dramas and petty resentments that so often accompany large social groups. For Sigma males, Quality trumps quantity every time when it comes to friendships. Number seven, they are selfish with their time. Friendships demand a significant amount of time and commitment, two resources that Sigma males value immensely and prefer to allocate towards their own personal development and alone time. A characteristic trait of Sigma males is their love for freedom and autonomy, the ability to do what they want whenever they want. Being in the company of friends often requires a degree of accommodation and compromise, which can sometimes impinge on a Sigma's cherished independence. Additionally, Sigmas require substantial periods of solitude to recharge their social batteries. This need for self-recharge, coupled with a desire for personal freedom, makes the prospect of maintaining a large circle of friends unappealing and incongruent with the typical Sigma lifestyle. Therefore, Sigma men often opt for a select few meaningful relationships over a broad and demanding social network. Number eight, they outgrow people too quickly. A less discussed, yet intriguing aspect of why Sigma males often have fewer friends lies in their unconventional trajectory towards leadership. It is common for people to form friendships with those who share similar levels of social respect, power, and status. However, Sigma males are renowned for their meteoric rises in their respective careers and industries, which means they seldom remain on the same level as their peers long enough to forge lasting friendships. Take, for example, a Sigma male who starts a new job and initially interacts directly with many colleagues. Due to his high levels of ambition and intelligence, he swiftly ascends to a higher role, which alters his interactions and distances him from his former colleagues. This rapid ascent, while commendable and inspiring, inadvertently limits the Sigma's opportunities to cultivate friendships as they constantly evolve and outgrow their current social circles. This narrative highlights the double-edged sword of success and underscores the importance of staying grounded and valuing relationships, even as one climbs the ladder of success. Do you agree with the points I made in this video? Let me know in the comments. For more videos on Sigma males, check out some other videos on this channel. Thank you for watching. For those looking to achieve greatness, like the video and subscribe for more just like this one. Click here to see the brutal reality behind why Sigma males ignore people.